So, Jesus took me to heaven, and he showed me the table where we're going to be feasting at. Uh, once when he picks us up for the rapture. And I also had a, a, a couple of rapture dreams. In every rapture dream that I had, I did not get picked up. Um, because I was living in sin. Obviously, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. And you're going to perish if you live in the sins. But there's a way out, and his name is Jesus. So Jesus took me to heaven, and I was in his room. Uh, it's really, really big room, and it was earth. It was a big uh, digital earth, and it was spinning. It was spinning. And he came around the corner. He's wearing this white garment. I uh, couldn't see his face. Uh, I, could, I couldn't really recognize, recognize his face, but I just knew it was Jesus. He had pretty long hair. Um, and his skin's gold, and his eyes with fire, but with vengeance, with authority. And uh, he looked at me, he said, do you not know what I'm doing? And then he, t he takes me to the table, and he sits me down. There's a whole bunch of food on the table. There's a whole bunch of people around me, even in front of me. And the table's going through miles. It's going miles and miles and miles. I couldn't even see the end of the table. And I'm just scanning everything. I'm just like, I'm just looking. I'm just seeing what's going on. And everyone's having a good time, everyone's laughing and, and, and enjoying themselves and even eating. And the only food I could have seen was I saw a turkey. And um, at the end of the table, Jesus is looking right at me. He just smiled with this beautiful, pearly white teeth you've never seen before. And he just tilts his head and he just smiles. And he doesn't say anything. His, 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 the way he, his movement says everything. And it's with love and, and it's with compassion but also with authority. And I looked up and I see the great white throne. I only see one person worshiping it. It's, it, it. Repeatedly he's worshiping it. And then he takes me to the room of the rapture where he says he's gonna, he, when he says he prepares a table for you. And it's true, he prepared a table for us, for those that are gonna come with Jesus, for those that are gonna live with Jesus. He prepares a table and it has your name, it has your last name and is in a card and it's like folded in half and it's right it's placed right in front of the, the chair. And it has these cups and, and plates and knives and forks and, and napkins and it's just waiting for us. And I saw my name and I saw my family's names and I saw many other people's names but I couldn't recognize the names. Because Jesus is gonna come and I had rapture dreams and all the rapture dreams that I had, I did not get picked up because I was living in sin. For the Bible says the wages of sin is death. If you live in sin, you're going to perish. Do you not want everlasting life? The only way to get to Father, and all, the only way to get to the Father is to get through Jesus Christ. But He gave us the free gift of salvation. I believe that you can't lose your salvation, but I believe you can walk away from your salvation by stepping away from your faith, by living a double standard life, by living a double life, by living for the world, but also living for Jesus. You, you have to, can't be in the middle. For Revelation 3.16 says, for neither hot nor cold, the Lord will spit you out. And every rapture dream I had, I didn't make it. He came like a thief in the night. The, the skies were a different color. It was a mean, nasty color. And he came so fast. And I remember in one of my dreams that I had, I was talking to this, I was talking to a person, and I saw the clouds. It was a different color. It was, it was dark outside. And the moon was out. And all of a sudden, I saw the clouds, and I said, shoot, Jesus is here. Because every other rapture dream I had was the same colored clouds. And all of a sudden, the person I was talking to, they just dropped to the floor, and they just disappeared, and their clothes, their clothes are on the ground. And I, I'm like, yo, I'm like, I missed it. I missed it. I missed what Jesus was telling me to repent the whole entire time. I was playing in sin the whole entire time. I was enjoying my life the whole entire time. And I missed the rapture. The Bible says, keep your candles lit. Keep your candles lit. Because when Jesus comes to for his bride, it's going to be so quick, so fast, so rapidly. And I remember when the rapture happened, there's a, uh, they, they made us form into a line and they had all our belongings. And I was holding my belongings like this. And they, they put me in line 
and two group, uh, two men came and bust through the room. It was like everyone form a line, and we're forming a line, and he's just going one by one, and he points at me. He says, "You come with me," and it's like he knew who I was. He knew I was a believer. He knew I was a spirit filled believer, but yet I was still living in sin. And uh, he opened the door, and I was gonna get led to somewhere that I didn't know I was going, and the dream ended. And then I was in, in my other dream, I was in New York, and I was with a friend of mine, and we were going to go hang out. And we stopped at the red light, and I looked up in the sky, and I saw the clouds, the same color that I saw in my other dreams. And I said, she, Jesus is here. And a red portal opened, and went, and then it closed. And I looked on the driver's side of the seat, because I'm in the passenger seat. I looked up on the driver's side of the window, I looked up, and I see the, the, the heavens opening. And it's, and, it's, and it's people are getting us, people are ascending up, and the, and the clouds are open, the heavens are open, and there's a bright glow, glory of light shining on the people. And they're getting picked up one by one. But it wasn't a lot of people, it was about 20 people, and there's like three more people at the very last minute. And then it closed. And I saw the red portals again going on each street of New York, and nobody was getting picked up. Shh, shh. And everyone was, nobody else was getting picked up. And I missed the move of God. And I heard the voice of the Lord. It said, my son is coming sooner than you think. And he was referencing as Jesus coming soon. Because even the son doesn't know his return. But only the father knows. And Jesus is coming soon, my friends. Get ready. Keep your candles lit. Keep your candles lit. Bear the fruits of the Spirit. Have a relationship with Jesus because He's the only way. Buddha can't save you. Allah can't save you. This life, this world, materialistic, money, friends, mom, dads, cousins, aunts, uncles, they can't save you, but only Jesus can save you. Only Jesus can save you from your sins. Repent and get right with God. Repent, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Meaning that Jesus is here. And he's just waiting and waiting like a TikTok on the clock. He's waiting and waiting to come grab his babies, to come grab his children from mourning, from, from destruction of the enemy. Build up your character. Allow God to work on you. Allow God to soften up your heart. Allow God to remove things that's not of him. Allow God to remove things that's of this world. Allow God to remove relationships, idols, social media, uh, marriages that's not of God. But allow him to break it and restore you. Because one day the Lord's going to restore humanity. And there's no, there's not going to be no more sin. And on the second judgment, people will be cast in the lake of fire. Whether it be born, born, burning for eternity. But that's the way out. And his name is Jesus Christ Nazareth. The living God. The only one true, real God that can save you. And his name is Jesus. And he's telling you to get back up, come to me, and only I can save you, only I can forgive you for your sins, only I can forgive you from your mistakes. No man has the authority to forgive you, no priest has the authority to forgive you, but Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ is the only way to get to the Father. He loves you, and he doesn't send you to hell. We send ourselves to hell because of our desires and fleshly desires and our sinful desires. But repent, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hands. But please share this video for anyone that's in need, for anyone that's calling out to a father. His name is Jesus Christ, and only he can save you. He can save you from this world because his life is like a vapor. It's here and it's gone tomorrow. Materialistic things like chasing after a wind. Chase after God to fill up your void. Chase after God to fill up your cup, the suffering of your cup. Because only He can save you. Only He can take, take you out of the storm. Only He will never forsake you nor leave you. And it's the truth. But the truth will set you free. Every knee and every tongue will bow down and confess that Jesus is Lord. Whether you believe it or not. Because Jesus is coming like a thief in the night. He's coming on a horse. He's coming with his angels. He's coming with vengeance, with fire. He's coming for the people that long for him. That mourn for him. That pray. That worship. That read your word. 
Because faith is dead without works. You have to put in the work. You have to put in the effort. And it's hard to get into heaven. But it's your trust and faith in Jesus Christ. Because only He gives you the gift of salvation. Only He gives you the free gift. Forgive and love your enemy. Worship and worship the living true God. Forgive, forgive, forgive. And love and love and love. And bear the fruits of the Spirit. The Paul says, Endear, I have endeared to the end. I have fought the good fight. And at the end, we'll spend eternity with Jesus Christ. 